Welcome to Unbounded Potential's Go Beyond series with your hosts, Karen King and Selma from Radix. Our mission is to help you tap into your innate potential by providing you with cutting-edge speakers and leading-edge information. You will receive the insights, tools, strategies, and mindset that you need to empower yourself so that you can empower others as together we empower the world. Well, welcome, 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 everyone. Oh, my gosh, we've got so many, so many people here. Uh, We're so happy that you've joined us here today because we have a great returning guest for you. I'm Karen, and along with my good friend Selma, we are your producers and hosts for the Up Close and Personal Go Beyond interviews. It's because of you, our audience members, that we set the highest standard on quality, diversity of speakers, and content, and tonight is no exception because we're going to be talking about whatever it is that you want in life, and it can and it will be yours. So let me ask you, do you have dreams or wishes? Of course you do. Everyone does. Do you know how to make them come true? Well, most people don't. But don't worry, you'll find out soon how, because tonight's guest brings you the genie in a bottle, 21st century style. It is his wish to help as many people as possible make their dreams come true. And Karen, he has done so for so many people, for example, including Maggie from Minneapolis, who who says, my attention a week ago um, during a beta test was for $2,000 to come to me by June 15th. Well, it's June 15th, and I received $2,100, and via some very unexpected sources. One was the client payment I was sort of expecting, but I won $500 playing in a golf tournament this weekend and then won $600 from another equally unusual source. Wow. Now, Peter Schenk is a modern-day mystic, energy healer, research engineer, and software designer. Now, Peter has compiled extremely remarkable, intuitive, intelligent computer programs that imbue specific frequencies into water. While exploring the quantum realms, Peter discovered an amazing secret of how to bridge science and technology into transformative software programs to reconfigure a person's whole beingness for optimal health, wealth, happiness, and abundance. And he's here today to share insights into how once we've released the genie from the bottle known as Source 4, how it can not only give us our three wishes, but eons more and more and more. Welcome back to the Go Beyond Interviews, Peter Shank. My fairy godmothers, thank you. It's been a while. Oh, hold on. I just have to fluff this. my wings. I just have to fluff <laughs> my wings and, and get, get my magic wand out. <laughs> get your computer out. <laughs> well, the house so, is listen, buzzing right now. Peter, a lot of requests coming in. Manifestation is big, big business. You knew that. Yeah, right? well, we've yeah. we've got the we've got the the pinnacle of the technology tonight to uh, yeah to teach people how to use it. And, so let's you know, just talk I, a little bit about manifestation. Everyone wants to sure. know how to create the life they want, a life that usually involves abundance, wealth, and success. Uh, we just checked out on Amazon. There are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of books, tools, and strategies claiming to have the best manifestation techniques out there. Probably, and I, I think it's probably an understatement, that millions of people have bought these types of products and have worked really, really hard and been very clear about their desires but still don't feel like they've gotten what they want. So what would be some reasons that people cannot manifest what they desire? Well, you know, you have to break it down into basics. and when you read all of the dogma that's out there about manifestation, it's really just a recompile or a regurgitation of what everyone's been saying for 10,000 years. And then once you get beyond that, it, it just really breaks down into two parts, right? You have a thought form of something you want to manifest and you want to release it to the universe to bring it into fruition. But the part that people don't realize is um, the time by which you release the thought form to the universe, the universe grabs it and moves it 
you know, forward in time to bring it into fruition, the the space between those two parts is what we call the path, P-A-T-H. And any time, traditionally, along the path, if you have doubt or worry or a negative thought about your manifestation, it gets destroyed. The universe is a thinking sponge. It is the highest vibration and the highest form of love there is. And it only wants to give you absolutely what you want. And here's the linchpin, the cool part about it. It's always delivered in a more magnificent form than what your human imagination can conjure. So at its, at its basics, that's manifestation, right? <clears throat> and it took me a while to really grasp how simple it is to manifest something in your life, but furthermore, how easy it is to wreck it along the path. So why people... Um, fail at manifestation all the time is because of a negative thought process that we're conditioned with from birth. You know, babies, you know, I always tell people about the technology. When you approach this type of technology, approach it with a childlike mind, okay? And when you do that, you have freed yourself from the conditioning that we have from birth that we've worn our entire lives. And, you know, it's always easy to have a negative thought about a person, but it's much harder to have a positive thought about that person, depending on who they are and where they you know, pertain within your life. So that is manifestation in its simplest form and why, you know, 95 to 99% of the people fail in manifesting anything in their life. Well, that makes a lot of sense because, you know, you kind of think, okay, <clears throat> the doubt always comes up for me. Um, in, in particular, <laughs> like really, is this going to work? Is this really going to work? You know what I'm saying? And so then it really doesn't work. Um, now, do you think a, a big part of the puzzle too, Peter, is getting very, very clear on what we want? Without a doubt. The clearer, you see, another thing people don't realize is that when you when you want to manifest something, it's it's like a muscle that needs to be worked out. And I, like so, I, I started jogging, right? So I, I could only run a quarter mile when I, when I first started running, but I thought I could run, you know, two miles, and I very quickly learned I couldn't. But over time, you know, I gradually built up to that two mile mark. And when you put a comparison like that into manifesting, manifesting is an art form. Okay, it's something that you need to work at. And the more you work at it, the easier it gets. Now, most people want to manifest a house, a new car, what, you know, whatever. Um, and that's fine, and that is all possible, but not out of the gate. So when you want to so manifest Start with the dinky start. toy that you saw at the garage sale. <laughs> let's start, <laughs> you know, let's start with a little Lamborghini dinky toy and see if we can get that one. I'm still working on that one. <laughs> but, but, you know, manifesting is an art form, and you, you need to start off small. And when you start getting incremental manifestations that come into fruition, um, you start to build your confidence and your whole thinking, your whole paradigm changes. Now, you know, people have been manifesting stuff since the beginning of time in a whole bunch of different ways. And there's a lot of products probably out on the market. There's a lot of books clearly that you just talked about that talk about manifesting. But manifesting in its simplest form is you wanting something. And the key to manifesting anything is clarity. Okay? And what do I mean by clarity? You think about the thing that you want to bring into manifestation and typically people just release it and it never happens and they don't understand why. But the more clarity you have around the thing to be manifested, the clearer the universe gets it. And this is absolutely key. So, for instance, when I when I teach people how to use the technology, I always say start off with something small like a blue button, a thimble, a matchstick, uh, you know, a needle, a piece of thread, whatever. And what you do is you, you take that blue button and you, you move it around in your conscious mind and you touch it and you smell it and you bite it and you taste it, okay? You're using human senses, you know, the five that we have that we're innately born with to make it real. And after you can look at it from any angle, 
and understand what it looks like, what it feels like, what it smells like, then and only then do you release it to the universe. And when you do that, that's the perfect form. But again, even if people have, you know, reached that level um, of manifestation, it's still in the high percentile that they're going to fail because as humans, we do have that worry and doubt. And anywhere along the path that you have that, even the simplest thought form of it not coming into fruition, it's done. You have to start over. So, Peter, but I think the biggest thing there, too, is people are not very clear in what they want. You know, somebody may say, okay, you know, grant, you know, three wishes. What do you want? I want to be rich. But rich is too vague. Like, you know, what do you want to be? Do you want to have lots of friends? You know, you can be rich in experiences or, of course, you know, being rich in financial wealth. But, you know, a lot of people say, oh, I want to be happy. But what is happiness? Right? So I think the biggest thing is that, you know, what's that phrase, you know, the universe is like a restaurant, right? You, you you can't bring, you know, you can't bring in your meal unless you tell it what you want to eat, right? So being clear, you know, very specific, I think that's such a such a big one there. I mean, like, like money, like somebody says, I want to, you know, win the lottery. Well, what, you know, what is the lottery? How much money? They're not being very specific, like even a question coming in tonight. But even in your clarity of whatever you want to manifest, the universe is going to create it better. And this is what people don't understand. The story that gets written by the time you release it and the, by the time it comes into reality is so far beyond what your initial manifestation was and so much more beautiful than what your original manifestation was that it's absolutely mind-blowing when it happens. Mm-hmm. The clarity is complete key. Complete key. Well, and how about being a vibrational match? I mean, there's clarity, and you've got to, as you said, feel, touch, look at your, your what you want to manifest from every angle with all of your senses so that you can vibrate energetically at the same frequency as that manifestation. Would that speed it up? Or is that not necessary? That's not necessary. The, the 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 frequency, the vibrational energy, that that's all handled by the source, um, the universe. What's important is the clarity and the understanding of what you're asking for. So, you know, I, I've done shows with you and with other people, and we always abundance always comes up in, in some form. And I always ask people, what does abundance mean to you? It's very, very important that you have a concrete, fundamental understanding of what abundance means. Now, abundance can mean, you know, more love in your life. It could be maybe some more zeros in your bank account. It could mean maybe winning the lottery, um, paying off your house, whatever. It's the clarity that surrounds it. Because remember, the universe source is that thinking sponge, okay? It is a childlike energy. It does not, and I'll repeat this, it does not understand anything that is not of the light. Any low vibration thing you want to manifest, don't even bother because it's just not going to work. What you need is that clarity, okay, that love connection. And when you have that, and it's, it's only at that point is when you release it and the universe always brings it. Always, always, always. Paul from mm-hmm. Mumbai ha- has a question here, Peter. He's saying, is anything at all complicated for the universe to resolve or provide? And what about karma? Do, you want, do no. we only get paid for what we deserve? No. What would you say? No. That's not all. I mean, when you manifest something, you're bringing happiness into your life. You're raising your vibration by receiving something from the universe. And that there is positive karma being put out into the world that will come back to you eventually in some form or another. Um, You know, manifesting – I'm sorry, what was the first part of this question? Is anything at all complicated for the universe to resolve or provide? No, not at all. It, the we we are all part of the you know we are all one you know every part of our being is all interconnected back to source none of this is complicated life is should be easy we've been conditioned to think it's complicated and it's not it's not that's why you approach this with a childlike mind you know you unlimit 
your thinking, thereby limiting your potential. And once you've achieved that, nothing's complicated. Nothing at all. So the source for Peter has been six years in the making, undergone four <laughs> generations of evolution, and involved 10 years of your time in research and development. Some have dubbed it the 21st century genie in a bottle. Can it make all of our wishes come true? Yeah. Yes, it can. Oh, there is it. Yeah. And what's mm. special and unique about the source for? Well, to understand the fourth store, the fourth generation of the technology, you really have to understand the lineage of it. So back in early 2010, um, you know, I was six years into my wake-up experience, and we've had some other products that have been very successful on the market. But I needed to create something beyond the initial constraints of what has been designed to that time. And... I wanted to create something so unique that it could manifest anything in somebody's life. So the first two iterations of the source were pretty rudimentary. Um, they worked very well. Um, but when the source three started to come to me, and again, like all the technology I design, only when it's time, the download happens in my conscious mind and I get the blueprint and ideas to build it. Um, the Source 3 needed to be over the top. And this was mid-2011, maybe. I'm um, sorry, mid-2012. And, I, you know, I had undergone another level of conscious and understanding. I've been through many of them over the years. And my reality of how the universe or how the, the, the human consciousness creates reality was through nine symbols of creation. And I, I remember I was eating breakfast and the download started and I didn't have anything to write with. So I started writing with mustard, I think, on a napkin. You know? It's just, just I had to get the symbols down. And once I had the symbols down, I, I, uh, I hand drew them. And um, we sent them uh, over to a, an artist to do some uh, vector graphics on it, and they came back, and they were really, really perfect. So the next part of uh, the source three was the timing sequence. I needed uh, a timing sequence to happen. And, you know, we had the water prep, the user prep, and then the nucleation of the water. But I, I played around for weeks with the timing sequence of the, of the symbols, and I, and I finally nailed it. But again... Um, you know, the Source 3 was, was rudimentary. It was based on the first two generations of the technology, although it was a quantum leap in the mechanics and how it manifested, it was still pretty rudimentary. Now, I remember when uh, the this, this Source 3 was released, uh, I think in February of 2014, and I remember in the, the beta format, so um, just for you, the, the people on the call that don't know, um, you know, the life cycles of the technology go through beta versions, beta 1, 2, and 3. And then we have uh, what we call an RT version. And that's really the final product before it gets, uh, you know, um, compiled into the final product that's released to the, in, into the world. And in beta 3, um, I needed to alter my trajectory in life radically. Um, you know, some personal things were going on with me, and I, I needed to change everything in order to make this next step. And I left the beta three open um, two nights in a row, and I didn't even I didn't even put it into water. I just left it open on my development machine. And six weeks later, my life had completely changed. Exactly what Isn't I that wanted. That when you met us. Uh, it was, <laughs> I think you guys are a month or two off, but, um, oh, okay. you know, my, my personal situation had completely done a 180 and, it, you know, the way the universe delivered it, it was just mind blowing. So I knew I was on to something. So, um, the sorcery has been out for, you know, about a year and a half and people have had amazing experiences with it. So, um, back in February of this year, 
I wanted to redo um, the source tree and what became the source for, and I needed to radically change it to make it I needed to give people the ability to create their own reality, much like uh, manual mode in, in Aquaware, where you intuitively put the dots on the screen to increase the effects of uh, the intention going into water. So how does the source for differ from everything else? I, I have given people such a quantum leap in the ability to create their own manifestation by moving the nine symbols of creation around the screen and saving them in arrays that work for them. And, and, and an array is just a geometric form that you use that you can save and you can update at any time um, when the symbols are, are moved on the screen. So, the, the, you know, the, the, from the source two to the source three, we introduced the nine symbols of creation, but from the source three to the source four. And people have to understand, this is really important, that the source four is a completely new product. Yes, it, it, it keeps the same names and the principles as the other two, but for the last four months, I have rewritten the software from the ground up. Uh, this is another radical design that just came to me, you know, on the fly as it's being built. And the effects that I was having personally with it were just off the chart. And what I have noticed from utilizing it, building it, and not only using it, is that the manifestations are happening in real time. And this is the, this, I have not talked outside of my inner circle, so here it comes. What is happening to me and others from using this product is you will find yourself in a situation, maybe a conversation with a person, and you'll think of an out or something about that conversation, and within 10 seconds, that thought form manifests itself. I know it's crazy, but it's happening. And I know that once the feedback starts coming in from people using this product, they're going to start experiencing it. So what's happening is these nine symbols of creation are integrating into your system as you use the software. And it's making manifestations happen on the fly. Now, the Source 4 is not only more advanced, but I've taken the manifestation time in the code to under 24 hours. Okay? With the Source 3... And all the iterations of the technology it was always, you know, 72 hours and 14 days. Manifestations with the source four are happening in under 24 hours, and then sometimes are happening within 10 minutes of using it. So it's kind of like rearranging your your DNA, if you will. That the, when you play with the symbols and you create the arrays, you're creating, you know, the frequencies, <clears throat> the higher vibes. You're creating the reality of the manifestation that you want as you move the symbols. Is it necessary for us to move those symbols? No, it's not, actually. Okay. I um, I put in um, 10 presets into the software. Um, <clears throat> I have left all of them, <clears throat> excuse me, except for one, pre uh, undefined, which means, you know, I've used all of them. I've designed them. I know they work but I didn't want to put chains on them by telling you what they are. But I did put one very, very specific one in there, which is array number seven, which is all about abundance. And it is phenomenal. It works very, very quickly. I'm using the wrong one. <laughs> oh, hey, um, we better start on that number seven. <laughs> just get, excuse us, folks. We're just going <laughs> to Yeah, we're just going to do this. <laughs> Okay, number uh, seven, Terry. Lucky number seven. Number seven, yeah, number seven has been seven. predefined. Doing the other you're one. not gonna find okay. that. You're not gonna find that in the literature or anything. Okay, it's, number it's seven. Something that um, it's like a little bit of the software. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so Peter, somebody's being, we've had some questions here, and some of the people are saying, well, you know, I, I've been using the source, you know, for you know a couple of days, and um, so nothing is really shifting. So. You know what? What is you know? They were saying what's happening here. Um, okay, so again, um, when I speak of experiences, I'm speaking of myself. Um, I have been very tuned in the higher realms. I've been schooled in manifestation from places that I don't care to talk about right now. Um, 
So manifestation to me when I'm building these products comes very, very quickly and easily. Okay, now earlier in the show I alluded to practice makes perfect, okay? Mm -hmm. Now even with the Source 4 technology, <clears throat> the first time you install it and it's on your computer and you open it up, it's a childlike consciousness, mm -hmm. okay? It needs to get to know you and you need to get to know it. And the best way to do that is to play with it, okay? And when you start using this technology, you have to start off small, okay? Again, the blue button, the symbol, the matchstick, the, you know, the piece of thread. Um, if you want to jump into something larger, that's fine. Only you can determine um, what is right to manifest in your life when you open up the source for the first time. And only you can determine if it's going to work or not, okay? Everyone wants it to work, and that's fine. Now, sometimes people have energetic blockages, okay, mm -hmm. that are that go way beyond, you know, what, what the source fork can handle. But that's why we have water prep and user prep, okay? There is um, a, a fourth step in here called setting up the light paths when, when, when you're programming the water, right? But there's mm -hmm. something, again, that's not talked about in the Source 4, and I did this on purpose. It clears the blockages, okay? It just does it automatically. It's programmed automatically in the water when you click on the Source button. So abundance or manifestation, and I'm, I'm going to stick to abundance as an example. When you want to manifest abundance in your life, a lot of people, you know, num generally number one, number two, um, whenever someone's working in this type of field, it's always about money. Um, they want to, you know, they want to make more money. They want to manifest more money. But we, receiving abundance from money, or however you define it, it's an energetic form. Okay, mm -hmm. and most people have doubt or worry. It's just the way the economy is about money, and it shuts down that flow. Okay, it just turns it off. And to turn it back on, you really need to um, practice. Okay, and tonight we're going to do an activation with abundance, and I think everyone's going to get a nice little surprise um, at some point in the next 24 hours with it. Um, if the source technology doesn't work for you, it could mean a couple of different things. And basically it always boils down to you have a blockage or you're just not practicing enough, okay? Now, everybody is different. What works for me is not going to work for Karen, what works for Karen is not going to work for Selma. What works for Selma is not going to work for anybody on the call. It's all about discovery, okay? I give you the tool that it comes from a place of absolute love, okay? And it's the highest vibration to date of something I've created. And when you use it, okay, you have to practice with it. It needs to get you. It's that childlike energy. The more you use it, the better you're going to get. And when you start getting the little incremental steps, Mm -hmm. When you start getting small manifestation, it builds up your confidence. You're like, oh, wow, <laughs> or whatever. Well, you know and what? And that's that's no different than AquaWare 4 was. Um, and I still keep a journal of, you know, how quickly um, these intentions work for, you know, myself and people I work on. And uh, it still blows me away. So a lot of people are saying, um, can I use the intentions from AquaWare 4? And use them in Source 4, and why would I still then use Aquaware 4? <laughs> there are two completely different animals. Okay. The Source 4 is geared for manifestation. Okay, Aquaware is intent-specific. Okay. So, so, yes, Aquaware has the ability to manifest abundance through water, but and, and the Source 4 is actually built on the Aquaware 4, and actually a more advanced version of the Aquaware 4 engine. Um, and it is built for manifestation. And you really have to understand the, the general concept between the two products to really let the Source 4 work for you. Um, the Source 4 is, again, you know, 10 years of research and, and four years of evolution over a six-year period. Aquaware is much older, um, and that's where all the core technology has stemmed from over the years. 
but they're, they are two radically different programs. One is for manifestation, the other is for intent specific. So, right. for instance, let's say you have, you know, um, pests in your garden, squirrels, whatever, and you want to get rid of them. Ahuware has pest control. You charge a bottle of water, you go out there, you spray it in your garden, um, the pests go away. Um, if you want to manifest something in your life, you know, clearly you wouldn't use an intention like that. You would use, um, uh, you know, the source for. Mm-hmm. Um you talked about light paths earlier. What are those? Mm-hmm. Let's ex- uh, tell people what so, light paths are. So this this kind of goes back to the basics of manifestation. You know, I talked about the path, which is the time by which you release that conscious manifestation in your head to the universe and the time by which the universe, you know, starts creating it upstream in your in your current trajectory. That's called the path. Now, at any time, Traditionally, during that path, if you have the doubt or worry, the thought form is destroyed. What Aqua, the Source 4 does is it creates light paths, and this is this is really the secret sauce in the Source 4. And the light paths are two supporting paths that go underneath the general path that kind of shield it and support it from any negative thought that you're going to have. So again, like the other products, the source for it takes all of the work out of it. The only thing that is required of the user is where you put your attention, the intention will go. And like the other products, I use water as the catalyst. So the way it works is you get your thought form in your head, you get your target water ready, you push the nucleate button. The only thing that is required of the user is to put your attention on the water. And as we move through the motions over that 45-second or 48-second period, um, the water's programmed with everything you need, you drink the water, okay? And as soon as the water's in your body, the arrays start coming out, okay? And it's not, it, it, it's very different from traditional manifesting. You're actually putting your manifestation into the water. And when you drink the water, the energy comes out of the body and you feel this and if you can see it, you're going to see it, you know? If we, if we had the ability to do really in photography, it would be absolutely amazing because you would see light beams coming out of people. And those light beams carry um, the manifestation, and that is what source grabs onto, okay? And as it grabs onto it, those light paths are instantly created along the path, okay? So it doesn't matter if you have doubt or worry. Job's done. Software did everything for you. Mm -hmm. And can we still, you know, like, for example, if we have a relative that lives in a different part of the country, Peter, can we still um, use yep. the yep. source for for them? Yep. Absolutely. The, uh, the source for utilizes all the principles that Aquaware does. You can program water anywhere, anytime. It doesn't matter if the glass of water is next to your computer or it's a case of water at your friend's house. Okay, you can even bathe in the water for the manifestation. Okay, it just has to come into contact. Now, internally is always the best way. I recommend always drinking the water for the manifestation. But if you want to bathe in it, maybe you have, um, you know, some something outside the body you want to take care of. That's fine, too. You have to be that child. You have to use it and think, think from an unconditioned mind you know, when you're utilizing this technology. And when you've achieved that, you've unlimited your thinking, you've unlimited your potential. And you're not only changing yourself, but you're also changing the environment. So, you know, the principles that govern the source for is you're not really changing yourself. You're changing your reality around you. And that's the biggest key. When source is manifesting what you want, it's changing your trajectory. It's changing your reality. And I, I like using this example. <clears throat> okay, I want I want to buy a Ferrari. Everyone knows I love a red Ferrari for whatever reason. I use it as an example. And many you're, different you're times. Kind of, you're, you're cutting out a bit there. Yeah, you're, you're breaking up there a little bit. Can you hear me now? <laughs> we can hear you now. Can you hear me now? <laughs> I can so hear I you like now. to I like to I like to use that red Ferrari <laughs> as 
an example. So let's say, okay, we're going to do an activation here and someone wants to manifest a red Ferrari. Well, duh, it's not going to show up in your driveway the next morning. But what will happen is that manifestation gets created. You know, source takes it upstream. The light paths are created along the, your current trajectory along the path. And you have some long-lost relative that you don't know that just passed away two days before that willed you the money to buy that Ferrari tomorrow. That's how manifestation works. It changes your reality around you. It reconfigures your current trajectory to bring about the desired object or the desired manifestation. But sometimes I think, Peter, we need to sort of stay calm and just relax and not be worried about where it's gonna come like from. the timing of everything, right? And just trusting yeah. that the universe has our, you know, has our best. One 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 thing that's important is you don't you don't want to be in a manic state when you use the yeah. technology, um, yeah. because your manifestation may come in a manic state. No, I'm just kidding. But you know, if, if you meditate. If, if you have a place of power, if you have a, a calming room, that you have a crystal, whatever, whatever dynamics you use to reach a really calm state, um, I suggest you use them when you use the Source 4 tech because it just helps relax you and helps get that, um, you know, man- manifestation crystal clear. I, and I just, there was a, I really want to just read this quickly. There was a comment that was made um, yesterday on my Facebook page and it was by uh, Anthony Open Arms K and he writes and I quote the source for has been so amazing that I can't just keep it to myself so I took some time to properly ask for what I want and rehearsed it over and, and over again and that is so key then I hit the source for and drank the water uh, when in 30 minutes I was blown away, my lawyer, hang on a second, my lawyer told me that the deal is going through to his surprise. He couldn't figure out how this happened so fast, but it did. Excuse my grammar, it's what I am. Thanks, Pete. Manifestation in less than one hour. <laughs> but you see, well, he, there, there's a key principle in that statement. He practiced the manifestation over and over and over in his head. And the more he practiced it, the more real it becomes. Okay? Mm-hmm. Can you can you honestly imagine asking for a red Ferrari and it popping up in your driveway tomorrow morning? It doesn't make sense. When manifestations happen, they make sense. That's what the light paths do. That's what source does. That's what the whole reconfiguration that happens. It changes your reality around you. And that is absolutely key. Practice. Yeah. But, but practicing, um, we can we can think about it, right? You can feel it, the leather seats, the you know the exactly stereo is just you know just going, and the air condition when it's hot, and you know like well, no, I want a convertible. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, you have to come here, take a ride in mine. Yeah, um, there you go. <laughs> my question to you is, how many times a day can we use the source? So I generally recommend three times a day until it comes into fruition. But that doesn't mean you have to program water three times a day. I mean, you can program a gallon of water and drink it throughout the day, and that's fine. Okay. You know, that's fine. And can you, um, can you, you re- um, use it for different manifestations you would like during the day, like three different ones or three of the same yeah. or... I, I could say well, I could limit you to one or I could limit you to ten, and I don't want to do that. It's a tool. Okay. It's unbridled. It's raw, and it's extremely powerful. And however it works for you, you dictate the terms to it. Mm-hmm. And you know sometimes you're not feeling well, you're detoxing or something, then you know you've overdone it. So you can uh, not, no, it. no. The, um, the Source 4 doesn't have a, um, does not have a power indicator in it. Okay, there's a new form of technology that's built into the source, which has actually been built in all of them. It's just been refined again for this new generation of technology where it throttles itself based on your vibration and what you're asking for. So detoxing okay. with the source for is next to zero. Oh, okay. Well, that's good to know. Yeah, I haven't experienced any. Well, I have experienced, though, Peter, 
is very, very, very vivid dreams. Yep. Is that normal? Like, I haven't really dreamt in over a year, and all of a sudden, I'm having, like, 10,000 dreams a night. Yeah. Yeah. And then I wake up and say, was that real? (laughs) Are you remembering your dreams? I am. Yeah. One was in an Italian restaurant. I remember the food they brought (laughs) and everything. Yeah. Kind of interesting. It's, um, you know, it's a... it's I, I can't say enough about it. It's it's it is what it is. It's amazing. Uh it's fourth generation. It has moved in my life so far forward in the last four months. It's off the chart. <clears throat> and you know, the the reports of people using it are starting to creep in now. Um I'm trying to direct everybody to the website to get the get it up there, but they're putting it on Facebook. Um the public uh, beta test that I did. There's, you know, there's a lot of people that responded on that with all kinds of cool stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, so, oh, you know, so they're they're slowly finding their way. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then well, now Peter, we maybe have that's on like our website, ideal time. All right? uh, on our website, people can. Um, we've got a Facebook plugin just under Peter's um, under this audio here, where everybody is on the webcast. All the way down, there's a comment section, so you can feel free to leave any comments there as well about, you know, your experience with, with the source, et cetera. That'd be good. And we'll pass them on to you. Yeah. Yep. Hey, and especially ahead, now when Peter is going to do an activation with Source 4, so, um, you know, and I, think now I think that would be a good time. Yeah. And now's a good yeah. time. I just filled up my glass. Yeah, I got my gallon. <laughs> I said, well, okay. I'm can, we, um, can we just open up the lines for a quick second? I just I got to breathe sure. that energy in before we do this. Just okay. Okay. Like the lines are open. How's everybody doing? Great. Fantastic. Oh, my God. I need I need synergy, man. I got to hear the screams. How's everybody Yay. doing? Great. 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 How's that for you, Peter? That's that's enthusiasm there. That works. That works. Okay. A lot of people okay. on the webcast here too, so yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. So everybody get their glass of water and and Peter so, is going to be honoring the quest because I know a lot of people have been writing in saying, Can he do something on abundance manifestation? So yes, he is going to do that. So and he is going to be using the source for and so I'll check how everybody's feeling at the end, and of course leave your comments and and we um yeah like I can see I've got my water ready. You've got yours there, Karen. Oh, you betcha. Okay, all right. When do I not have water? Well, well I know, I know, I know. I thought I'd better get a gallon already, just in case, you know. Yeah. I'm gonna be sipping that um, tonight, tomorrow, and. <laughs> so you're using a ray number seven, right, Peter? <laughs> we are. We're using a ray number seven <laughs> now. So, some, another little trick that is not in the manual um, is to, when you have the array perfect and you know it's perfect, is to just double click on each one of the icons, okay? And that starts a frequency balance, if you will. And it just, it amps everything up in anticipation of entering the source for, which we're going to do here in a minute. So, again, folks, um, the source for handles everything. The only thing that is required of you is two things. One, have your manifestation in your head. And two, when I say we're entering the source for, I'll count down, three, two, one, I'll click the button. You put your attention on the target water, okay? It only happens at the speed of thought. You don't have to stare at the water. You don't have to stare at the computer. You can get up and you can make a sandwich and come back and your your, your water's ready to go. The water can be next to your computer. It can be a case of water downstairs. It can be a bottle of water on the other side of the country. It can be a cup of coffee on Mars. It does not matter. Where you put your attention, the intention will go. That's it. The only thing that is required of you is that you put your attention on the target water when we enter the source. Everybody ready? Ready, Freddy. Ready, Freddy. Okay. I'll count down, three, two, one. I'll click the the source button. You put your attention on the water, and I will tell you what's happening. 
um, on my computer screen. Here we go. Three, two, one. Entering the source. Water preparation is now running. We are removing the energetic frequencies from the water, the programming of everywhere it's ever been. It runs for 8.1 seconds. We are running the user preparation now. We are creating a thin layer in the water. That will go right to the sub subconscious mind and open it up for acceptance. That runs for 8.1 seconds. We are now pre-nucleating the water. It runs for 8.1 seconds. We are now setting the light paths within the water. It runs for 8.1 seconds. And now we are nucleating the water with our manifestation. It runs for 18.1 seconds. And if you stare at your water once the nucleating starts, that's when it really gets crazy. The water can ripple. It can bubble. <clears throat> Sometimes it will soak through the glass. Sometimes it will crawl out of the bottle. It just depends. Okay. Cycle is complete. That's it. Everybody drink your water. Ah. Bring it on. Ooh. <laughs> that one's got a cool taste to it. That was very different. <laughs> Great. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Do we have to drink the whole glass or just like a sippy do will do? Three to four ounces minimum. Well, I didn't measure that. I think I've almost finished my glass, but then I, you know, got a gallon of water there. I thought, I'm just prepared. See, Peter, I'm just prepared. Okay. Awesome, awesome. That was good. Tastes good. All right, there's a lots of All questions. Right. Now, before we get into questions, I just want everyone to kind of relax and close their eyes. You can feel the light paths coming out of their body. You know, traditionally, when you do a manifestation, <clears throat> as soon as you release the thought form, the universe grabs it. Here, we go through the motions of using source four and putting the manifestation into the water, thereby drinking it. Now, the light paths are coming out of the physical body. Now, the universe is picking up everyone's manifestation would it serve us to do that after every time we use the source just like kind of get quiet and see those, those absolutely going up? Yeah. yeah that's why it's important to get into that place of power um, even prior to you know starting the process I've got a bit of tingling in my fingertips. Oh, you and your fingers. Mm -hmm. I know. Well, I just, I'm sensitive. It's, it's always your fingers, isn't it? I Actually, know. sound, but uh, it's coming directly out of your heart center. Oh, okay. And Karen, yours is coming out of your third eye. Okay. And I'm visualizing it as a golden thread. Mm -hmm. A golden path. Hmm. We're just moving. <gasps> well, yeah, um, we'd, we'd be interested in seeing people's reactions if you're feeling anything and taste of your water. And <laughs> I'm sure they are. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they are. I know I am. It's like, okay. Mm -hmm. While we're waiting for people to write in, um, I want to talk a little bit about the source for. So if you'd like to uh, click on the, uh, if you're on the webcast, I've got to see because our website's so new, I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, at the bottom of the page, it says, click here to learn more, and it will take you to upwithwater.com forward slash source, S-O-U-R-X-E, numeral four, dash S-P, forward slash. Um, as Oprah says, nothing happens until you decide. But again, what if you could manifest if you knew you could not fail? Um, source 4 helps you access a hidden power inside you that will allow you to attract anything your heart desires. What would you choose to manifest? Would you want financial freedom, super fit body, an amazing relationship, a beautiful new home, new car, or a three-month vacation in Bali or Lethbridge? <laughs> Perhaps you want all of this and even more. Whatever it is you want in life, it can be and will be yours. 
whatever dream you desire, it is possible to magnetize it by using this Force 4 technology, just as we've just done. Um, we have a special offer right now that includes the Source 4 Light Body 2.0 and the St. Germain Workshop, all for $397. Uh, the regular price for all three would be $891, so this is a substantial saving. So, Peter, we've talked about the qualities of Source 4 already on this call. Talk to us a little bit more about Light Body 2.0 along with the St. Germain Workshop. So <clears throat> Light Body was another radical design that I actually came into inception about um, close to 10 years ago um, after Aquaware version 1 was originally developed. Um, I'm sorry, about eight years ago. Um, I wanted to create a software program that was geared with ultra-high frequencies with specific intents. And I wanted it to look different from anything I've ever created. Um, but the timing to release it wasn't right. So I basically shelled the technology for six, seven years. And earlier this year, I decided to release it, but it had had to undergo, you know, an infusion with the, sort, with the Aquaware 4 engine. So Lightbody is a program that has six or seven intents. It looks different from all the other products, uh, very different, and it operates um, on the same principles. And it's all about inner beauty and body cloning. Okay. Um, I've done a number of different shows with Light Body already. It's been amazing. People have amazing results. And it's really all about weight loss, body toning, inner beauty. Um, so when you have it up and running, you'll notice that it, it, it's completely different from everything you've ever seen. Um, the, the one thing I would just heed caution on is the flush intent. Um, this one has been brought up many times <laughs> on some of the shows I've done. And the flush is a little over the top sometimes for people. And it just basically cleans you out from the inside out. And uh, Yeah. So people have had great results with it. Um, you know, the inner beauty part of it was was really kind of cool to develop because um, have you like have you ever been in a restaurant, a noisy restaurant, and um, you know somebody just walks into the restaurant and for a microsecond the place just goes quiet and everyone stares at them and goes back to doing what they're doing, almost like they did it unconsciously. Okay, that person exuberates inner beauty. I was able to capture that precise frequency and put it into light body. And that inner beauty is amazing because you could just use light body for inner beauty. You just drink that water and this amazing energy just comes out of you and it just attracts people to you like, you know, like moss to a light. Uh, it's really, really cool. Uh, the fat loss works really good. The appetite suppressant in it works amazing. Um, but again, folks, just that, that body flush, you got to be careful of that one. That one is a, is a real linchpin. you got to mm -hmm. be careful of that. Um, the St. Germain workshop was amazing. We did that, what, about six weeks ago, two months ago, I think? Uh, yeah, I think it could have been. An, when was that, yeah. Alma? Yeah, yeah it was a while ago, about a month yeah. ago, six weeks ago, yeah. something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Basically, that's, a, that's an hour and a half recorded show all about St. Germain. And what we use in that show is we use sacred geometry and water to bring that St. Germain energy into your being. We, we bring him into the room. It's like a gravity well. You feel it. He comes front and center. And he infuses his energy with you by uh, using his symbology. He infuses it with you. And, again, it's a, it's a creative energy that once it's infused with you, you can use it to heal your body. You can use it to heal others. You can use it for a whole number of beautiful things. Um, and that was definitely one of the better ones we had done. And, uh, you know, that clearly was an amazing workshop. We had a lot of uh, really good press on that one. Mm -hmm. So, you know, those those two products um, combined with uh, the Source 4 at that price point are, uh, you know, was just really giving it away. There you go. I mean, there, there's, you know, there, there's a lot of tools out there, okay? And there's a lot of people out there that 
claim to do a lot of things. Um, I have a long track record of getting results. I have always held true to the fact that if I cannot make a difference in a person's life, I'm not going to work with them. And this has never been to me about money, and it will never be about money. It's always about helping people. Um, I'm very raw at what I do. I don't, I don't wear, you know, Florence Nightingale type things and and walk around exuberating kumbaya and telling people to, <laughs> you know, sing and all that other horse whatever. Um, I'm very raw at what I do, and I I get results. You know, I'm I am built and geared um to get results with these products and and you know, the ways that I deliver different modalities to people. And software is the perfect medium to get an extension of what I am out into the world to change your life. Um, you know, and, and I have, I, well, hang on. I I've noticed a, a, a trend in my customer base and they have Ninety percent of them have spent a lot of money over the years on products that just don't work. And through, you know, uh different modalities they, they, they find me and they become very attached to what I do. And what they find is that I am typically the last train stop before they go off a cliff. And you know, we we use all different range of products and, and services to move everybody into a better space. Mm -hmm. And people's lives oh. have become totally transformed. I mean, ours yeah. have, um, for absolutely. example, and everybody in my family um, having these three programs. And, and so think about what it can do for you. The source four is about power, uh, your radiance, ability, no limits, abundance, <laughs> your ability to manifest anything, light body 2.0. Go ahead. Were you going to say something? Yeah, here's an interesting point I wanted to bring up. You and Salma have been privileged um, to work with me um, from the inception designs of these programs to the final product. And one question I've never asked you on the show is you, you've seen Beta 1 of the Source 4, right? You've downloaded it, you've played with it, and now you're seeing the final product. And the point I'm trying to convey is from your vantage point, your experience, the transformation from beta one to beta four, I mean, to uh, the source for a final product, like wh what does that do to you mentally, physically, emotionally? Well, well I have to say, it, it feels more powerful. Yeah, absolutely. From the other ones. It's just like there's a surge. There's just a power. You feel there's just there's something is happening. That's what I... You know, that's what I feel. It's just a, it's just more power. I just feel that, you know, like something is moving, something, it's, something is going on in my environment. How about you, Karen? Yeah, pretty much the same. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Just, you know, I, 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 I don't even know how to put it into words. You, you just see the to. progression. No, you, you, ha you can see the progression of of the beta to the final product. Um, it's just much more refined, much more powerful, um, and you just know it's arrived. I guess that's what now, I would say. You and you want to use it more often. Yeah. Now, there's, there's one point I want to bring on target to that. When, when I did the Source 4 public beta, although um, design-wise and prosthetically, it looks very much like the final product, but the the code and the final engine were unbridled in in the public beta that I did, meaning that you know the the the, the gamut of the whole range of comments that have come under that YouTube video are really from an unrefined product on the inside compared to the final release, which is very very refined now and very different from using that public beta. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So again, folks, um, in the offer that we're um, presenting to you today, um, you get the Source 4, Light Body 2.0, and the St. Germain Workshop, all three programs for $397, regular price 891 
Um, if you want to read about this offer in greater detail, check that. Uh, click on that little orange button at the bottom of uh, the webcast page, or go to upwithwater.com forward slash source four. That's the number four <coughs> dash sp. Um, yeah. And again, we have a 30-day money-back guarantee. We do. So I just want to bring up for the new folks that are on the call and are not familiar with what I design. Um, these programs will only run on Windows 7, Windows 8, or Windows 8.1 for a PC. Now, in the past, um, there's always been an outcry from the Mac community. Um, and I'm not going to go into the details of why I have not developed this on there, but I will tell you that there are, are a number of options out there. And over the last year, a, a phenomena has really happened in, in the PC world where you can go out and get a netbook um, or, you, you know, a tablet running Windows 8.1 for, I've seen them as cheap as $90 now. Mm -hmm. um, and you can just download the software right to that and boom, you're good to go. I've seen them as cheap here too. Yeah, so it's just a, it's bargain. It's a bargain. Mm -hmm. Okay, well mm -hmm. we're coming up to one of our favorite segments of the show where Peter is going to take your questions. So there, I know there's a lot of questions that come in, but if you also want to talk to Peter live, um, press star two and to get into the queue, and um, we are going to be starting. So okay, Karen, do you? Sure, I'll take the first one. Um, okay. Looks like Dennis, your hand must be really sore. It's been up a long time. Is it Dennis <laughs> from California? Yes, Dennis from California. Can you hear me okay? We can hear you just fine. What's your question for Peter? Yes, I wanted to ask a question about the arrays. Um, I noticed that you have some that are preset, and uh, and you also have the ability to design even more. And I was wondering... Um, how do you go about the process of arranging an array? Um, okay, so what, are there any for, criteria, for, or you just simply use your intuition to make it uh, help it formulate, and then you all, add your to that? Is that what happens? First of all, that's a, that's a that's a fantastic question, and it comes in two parts. So. Um, the first part of your question is the you have to understand the arrays are not defined. Okay, and I did that intentionally. Only array seven is the only one that I have predefined for abundance. That is it. The other ones, the other nine, um, you can use for whatever you want. Now, the second part of your question is, um, you know, how do you approach it? How do you handle it? Okay, this is again, this is a technology that is built with no restrictions, okay? It is built for you to use your imagination to unlimit your thinking and by limiting your potential. So you, out of any of the other arrays, you know, the other nine arrays, you can use them for whatever you want. And what I suggest you do is, starting with the arrays is really from a, a beginner standpoint, and that's a good place because they're, pre they're, they're already defined, not in scope, just in the software, and you go through them and you find one that just resonates with you. It's like maybe it looks cool. Maybe you feel a power surge from it. Uh, you know, whatever. Maybe, you know, your, your skin, you start getting goosebumps. I mean, you, you really can come in many, many different forms. But once you find one that you, you want to use, you have to use the other principles that are in, in the directions and what we talked about on the show. And that is, you know, getting that manifestation in your head of what you want to manifest. And when you, you know, if you want to start off large, then do it. But if you don't get the results mm -hmm. you want, you know, just, just step back a little bit and say, okay, uh, you know, I understand this is a tool. You have to get to know me. I have to get to know it. Let's start off with something small. And always, always use the source for with a positive attitude. If you had a bad day at work, your girlfriend beat you sent was whatever, don't use it, okay, because it's just okay. not going to work. It's of the light. Okay. It's it's a very very high vibrational tool. Um, doesn't mean you know you got to be 100% on your game, but just choose to be in a better place when you 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 know you open the source up. Okay. So the bottom line is, I could use any of the preset for any manifestation that I want to work on, and that's fine. So there's nothing that I have to 
to say, okay, number one, you're just for abundance. Number two, you're just for making a car come yeah. into my reality. I don't have to do that. I can use one for whatever I want. Is that what you're saying? Exactly, except for number seven. Now, the next question is about the depth of the manifestation. Let's say my my passion, I guess, is uh, environmental engineering, and I would like to be able to clear large bodies of water, let's say of mercury, arsenic, and other contaminants and pollutants. Or let's say, for instance, uh, Fukushima. Right now you've got two reactors that are really having a hard time. They have gone through the first containment and, and working their way through the second containment headed for groundwater, which could cause a major, major problem. Is, is it possible to, for my light to be strong enough to it or cure or heal that meltdown process? Could I Any, anything to do and that? Let me repeat this how again. would you go about making something like Any, that happen? Anything is possible. Okay, anything is possible. Um, I say the more people that you the, have. Con- the more people that you have constant, I, mm-hmm. I don't, I don't honestly have an answer for you, but I will share experience with you that the more okay. people that use and concentrate any manifestation, um, utilizing, you know, any tool out there always makes a positive difference. Now, in your reality, you're afraid that Fukushima is going to contaminate groundwater. In my reality, I'm not, and I don't allow those thoughts into my reality, thereby negating the very principles in which you just, you know, set forth, right? So Mm -hmm. in your reality, you're afraid that it's going to contaminate groundwater, and that's fine. The Source 4 is a great tool for you to help stop that in your reality. Right. And that that comes in a form that I cannot explain, and I won't even try. Okay. Gotcha. But, Very Peter, good. you were just saying that if Dennis, for example, got a group of like-minded folks um, all using the source at the same time with the same, you know, um, manifestation in mind, that it could be just that much more powerful. Is that what exactly. you're saying? Exactly. Okay. Right, because I'm looking at this from the standpoint of being able to have a super garden where I can grow super vital food, and I'm using this program to expand my reality so that all my food in my garden is going to be super vital. And but Dennis, you have, to rem- you have to remember, you have to remember mm-hmm. one principle, okay? And that is mm-hmm. you can ask the genie in the bottle for whatever you want, but when it comes, it's going to come in a form that is A, perfect for your reality, and B, better than you can ever imagine it. Okay. So, yeah, well, like I'm saying, I can see this as an extremely powerful tool for many, many, many things, especially for healing this planet because, you know, I don't think the planet is going to die, but I do have concerns about humanity. (laughs) And I'm believing very strong that our health and our vitality is based on how healthy the earth is. And uh, that's where true health comes from. It radiates directly from the crust of the earth into our field. And so that's why I'm concerned, and I want to find ways to balance and harmonize our environments, all of them. Well, our air, I got a great water. tool for you, man. <laughs> I got a great yeah. tool for you. For okay. <laughs> okay. You got it. I got it. As a matter of fact, I'm using it. I just want to make sure I understand the depth at which I can go without limitation and what you're saying you, is you are basically. already limiting yourself okay you mm-hmm. need to understand that the source for is an unlimited tool and you are an unlimited being that has been conditioned and by setting right. limitations on using it you've already defeated the very purpose for by which you bought it unlimited right. and your I thinking, got that. thereby unlimiting your potential mm-hmm. right okay very good. And and this is also good for manifesting. Let's say, for instance, um, you put a, a, an array together for I am perfectly healthy or flawless skin and complexion or super healthy teeth and gums. All of those are still very good to use through the source, right? Those Absolutely. kinds of thoughts. 
Absolutely. Okay. And Great what do you think about way. what do you think about growing hair on bald heads? <laughs> That's a big one. I don't know, man. We'll get you on the show if it happens. <laughs> Give it a try. try that, Dennis, and we'll bring you back. Yeah. Okay. On, on a live on a live <laughs> webcast. <laughs> but I, I I will also share with you that the universe does have a sense of humor. Okay. Okay. And you know, just um, don't be careful when you use the source, but just be just be ready for things to be delivered in a more perfect form than what you can imagine. <laughs> and I'm just going to leave it at that. <laughs> imagine new hair growing within 48 hours. You know that would be so awesome. <laughs> uh, under under 24. I'm going to get off and let other people get on the line. So thank you very, very much for answering my questions thank and giving me a question. Appreciate your Thanks, time. Dennis. Great thank question. You. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Peter, I like this one. Carol from Valley Village, California says, I feel like a fairy godmother and sang bippity boppity boo and experienced a wave of colors dancing all around me and in me after drinking the water. This helped me to be childlike again and have fun with manifesting. Oh, I like that. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> I know. That's Oh, that was just great. That's great. Okay. So if we um, ever have a job opening here at Unbound to Potential for Fairy Godmothers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm jealous. I only have two. <laughs> um, okay. Uh all right, let me see here. There's so many here. Uh, okay, Donna from Grow. She says, Peter, I have a device that structures water. No new pro new no new programming is added. Is it okay to use that water for aquaware and source? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. absolutely. I mean, um, the best quality water that you can get. I mean, we're fine with tap water. Um, but, you know, I always tell people what, you get the highest quality water you want. And if you want to use another device before, during, or after, that that's all good. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Okay. Um, the next caller is Anonymous. I have no idea. If you could tell us your name and your question for Peter, please, you're on the line. Hello? Is that me? Is that, is that me? You? Hi, oh, Peter, hi, guys. Sue. Hi, ladies. Hi guys Hi. and ladies. Hi. <laughs> um, I guys, I've had the weirdest um, results with Aqua Four, and it it it's affecting my thought forms about purchasing the source. And just hear me out for a minute. With Aqua Four, Peter and Karen and Selma, I've had either instantaneous amazing results like I'm talking like I'll I'll do a program for pain or something because I was in a car accident five years ago and instantly as soon as I drink the water even as it's programming I can feel the pain shifting out of my body it, it's so powerful okay but other intentions I've I've set it at I get nothing and I, it's not like I, I just do it once and then get fed up and throw it away. I literally am, am a very um, committed person. I've been doing this since I bought Aqua 4 since the winter. And it's just, it's not that I won't buy the next one because I think it's totally been worth the money I forked out because I, I've just, even the things that have worked have been so fast. It, it's really kind of weird. And yet the other stuff, like one of the reasons, uh, Karen knows about this, I, I had a chronic skin condition, it was, was the fuel for me to purchase Aqua for and it's still I've tried everything I've tried you know because candida can um, cause it um, immune system imbalance I've tried everything I can think of on those programs Peter and I, I can't get rid of it so it, it, you can see why I get a little freaked out about buying another product from you because I'm seeing like extreme results fast and no results <laughs> so I was just wondering if you can just comment if you have any thoughts on is yeah. it me? Is there something um, you think I can you know, do? Like, so, is there... so, so again, Aquaware 4, and I, I'm not getting off. I'm, I'm going to be real short with this. Um, if one of the pre-canned intents don't work for you, and again, what works for somebody else is not going to work for you, or it might, I don't know. Everyone's okay. different when they use the product, but you have the ability to write your own custom intent. I, and okay, you know I what, you, I honestly haven't done that, but okay, you're okay, right, maybe I should that, try that's, that. That's, that's what you need to do, and let's just leave it at that. Okay. okay. And 
Yeah, and just when you were saying about Aquar being specific, in the super potent, there is an abundant setting. Um, there is a succeed in every, any endeavor. There is a money, and um, shouldn't like shouldn't those work for me? Aqua Four is quite powerful. Um, again, is there a need for me? Again, if something does not work for you, you have the ability to write your own custom intent, and I give you very specific instructions. You can shoot me an email, and I can work with you on it. It's not a problem. Okay. All right. Well, cool. and, and, you know, you. And, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not opposed to buying source. I just wanted to backtrack a bit because I thought there was some abundant settings on Accor 4. And, yeah, okay. I was just wondering if those may be things that I can still use. Yes, you can. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Stu. Thanks, Thanks guys. Yep. Thank you. Okay, um, Geraldine from Adelaide, uh, she's saying, hi all, Peter. I still haven't had any noticeable differences in my life from using Aquaware for many weeks and having had a session with it. Do you think it may be because I still have worries or doubts in my subconscious and thereby limiting myself and maybe the source for would be a way to go instead? What are you feeling for Geraldine? Again, you know, the the difference between the products, Aquaware is intent-specific. It's a tool that is really, really designed for you to play with. Um, the Source 4 is a more mature product in terms of changing your reality around you and bringing a manifestation in. And you really need to discern the difference between a condition in your life and a manifestation, okay? The condition is getting rid of pests, you know, maybe um, something in the environment, something internal to the body that's specific, Okay. That's what Aquaware is built to do, and it's extremely aggressive and good at it. Source 4 is all about manifesting in your life. Now, there is a very thin veil between the two meanings of those, okay? But the Source 4 is built on the Aquaware 4 engine, but it has been tweaked heavily, and I mean heavily, for bringing manifestation and results within 24 hours. There you go. Right. Thank you. <clears throat> um, we have area code 818. You're on the line. If you could tell us your name and your question for Peter, please. Hello? Hello? Hello. You're on the line. Oh. Can you hear me now? <laughs> oh, this is uh, this is Carol, the bibbity bobbity boo Oh, <laughs> no, no, Carol. Go on. Carol. Thank you well, for sharing that. Well, fairy godmother. Uh, I'm sorry, those positions have been taken. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, no, there's many available. But I do want to comment. I I found within me, we get so, I get so serious and so adamant about change. No, no, no. No, 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 and then, no, no, now, no, no, now with the source for and just the feeling of, Oh, I can do this. Oh, I can do that. It's opened up a different door. Yeah. Ah. And uh, door wanted... number three. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That job's so, closed. <laughs> right. So sometimes I think everybody gets so serious about stuff, and you need to back up from that and, pl- like exactly what you said, play with it. This is mm-hmm. something to play with. I use the Aqua uh, Wear 4, and now I'm using the Source 4, and I love both. And they are for different things. I bounce them back and forth. And it's like, now I got what you have been saying. Loosen up. Be childlike. Play. That's what you're really talking about. Not being so serious about everything. You have to be. That's why you got to be in yeah. your place of power. You know, you got to be calm when you use this stuff. Right. Um, right. You know, it Not is really an anxiety. amplifier. You know, it's a it's an amplifier of your your desires. And you know, if your desires are not pure, meaning you know you've had a bad day at work or. You know, you got into a fight with your significant other or whatever. You know, you just want to kind of step back and just relax a little bit. And then when you come into it, you know, it, I design this stuff to be fun. I don't want it to be work for people. It's supposed to be fun. And when you get results, you get excited. And I've always hold true that 
when the day this becomes work to me, I will walk away. And I still hold true to that. I have so much fun creating these products and listening to people like you that just have mind blowing results with it. That's what that's where my passion comes from, to build stuff that defies logic that science doesn't understand, if you will. You know, and and it's just that's why I asked, you know, Karen and Thelma, open up the lines. I want to breathe that in before we kick butt with the show. You well, know, thank childlike. You. Yes. Well, I'll continue my childlike now, and when I get too serious, I'll walk away and just say, no, not right now. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. you. Bye-bye. (laughs) Bippity-bobbity-boo. I also have a wand. (laughs) Okay. Hey, we love you. Well, I I got a genie in the bottle. (laughs) Yes, I know. I love that genie. Rub that. I also have a little, a little type uh, statue genie, (laughs) or the the uh, the lantern itself. I have it sitting over here. Oh, nice. So I'll have to rub it more often. There you (laughs) go. (laughs) Thank you again. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, Carol. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Okay, um, Audrey from Rockford. Uh, hi, Peter. What does it mean when every time you catch a break, something stops you? I was offered a very good paying job, and when it was time for me to send in my info, the Internet stopped working. Then on my first day of work, my eyes were bloodshot red. Also, my luck is is horrible. I've had some serious issues and blocks, and I don't know what to do. What, what are you seeing for Audrey? What, what do you think is happening with her? Nothing energetically. I mean, that's just, you know, the way it is. Okay. There's nothing There's nothing there. There's nothing there. So don't worry about no. any serious issues and blocks. Just things sometimes just happen. Have fun. So, yeah, just keep there going. Go. Have fun. Be childlike. And when you go for that interview, be, you know, be bubbity boo. And there you go. So you'll get the job. All I'll right. Wear sunglasses. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> stay off stay, stay off the tequila. <laughs> there you go. Um, we have a caller from area code three zero one. You could tell us your name and your question for Peter, please. Hello? Hello, you're on the line. Hello, this is um Emma. I'm from Washington D C area. So bear with me. I, do, I have a severe hearing loss, but um, I have a phone that is transcribing your spoken word. So hello. Okay. Um, hello. I have this uh, one uh, brief question um, that is about genetic uh, issue with uh, my eyesight. Um, I have a myopic degeneration, which comes from age, and I was just wondering if there. I can be helped by using the source. Anything so, that, uh, something physical that is uh, genetic related. So that, that that's a great question, and you you really need to understand. I'm not a medical practitioner, and I don't pretend to be. These products that I create have not at any time been evaluated by the FDA. Anything that you read on any electronic format, blogs, emails, or posts, or whatever. Um, for people's opinions of the products. If you are on a medical regiment from the doctor, you stay on that medical regiment. Um, now, with that being said, um, you know, the source for is a manifestation tool. Um, I don't have any reports um, from the source for healing any type of optical nerve damage. But again, you know, anything is possible when you utilize this technology through water. If your desire is to heal something um, with intent, with a manifestation, anything is possible. Yeah, and that does make sense. So uh, I, I, I know uh, where you're coming from, that the, from a medical community, they, they would uh, not approve that the, um, your device, whatever um, that you have developed, um, is the answer to the medical pop, um, cure. So I know where you're coming from, but you can't say too much. Um, I, I, will, I will share with you that 
um, you can search the internet and there are some amazing stories out there. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. That's true. That if I allow, you know, give myself some time, because I, I work a long day and don't get home, you know, um, so after six, and then by that time I only have three, uh, three summer hours left to before I need to go to sleep. Mm-hmm. Like I get up at 4.30 in the morning, so I get very exhausted when I get yes, home. I and that. So, yeah. so I would do my best. And well, two things. There. One, yeah. time-wise, a source for, you know, it takes less than a minute to program water. <clears throat> and two, um, there is a free product uh, called Navitas that you can download to help you with your energy, all based on the same principles. Yeah, that is great. And in, in fact, I do I, um, have... The uh, source number three, I think I, think I purchased it earlier um, this year, and my understanding was that I was going to get a free uh, upgrade when it become available. Yeah. Um, so I hope I understood that, 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 it that, that's a great question, and, and we might as well just get this out of the way now. I want to be very clear about this. Um, the source four has been an immense cost to me personally and financially to get out to market. So if you – traditionally, I always offer upgrades at 50% of retail, okay? Um, several weeks ago, I did offer a finite amount of time that if you bought Source 3 bundle, that the Source 4 upgrade would, would follow in suit. Um, if you're not part of that purchase, then the only way to get the Source 4 is either through one of the shows or retail on one of the websites. There is no upgrade path to it, cost-wise. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it can, I know it came out probably uh, but less than two months ago, and uh, then ever since I have been wondering if uh, I would need to. Ask you know, to, send, uh, send me an email with send me an email with your details. And I'll respond and find to it once I understand it. Uh, sure, and uh, that would be great. So just bear with me. It may not be uh, done until by the end of this week. It depends on how much energy that I have to get this uh, in the way. So I would I would try tomorrow. You know what? Think of you know what? I'm going to do something for you quickly. Yeah. Okay. If energy is your problem right now, go ahead and just think of white paper. I want you to take your right thumb and put it in your left palm. Okay. Let me know sure, when you start. Sure. To, let me know. Let me know when you start to feel it in your solar plexus. Yeah, set my palm up. Yeah, my left hand. Put your left palm up. Take your right yeah. thumb. Put it right in the middle of your left palm. Right thumb in the middle of your left palm. Let me know okay, when you start to yeah. feel it in your solar plex. Yes. Uh-huh. Okay, good. That will continue to break up your lethargic environment and your energy will return to a natural state. Okay? And I'll give you the energy to write me an email. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is great. great. Yeah, so I will uh, to keep, <laughs> no, get, keep that in mind or just play with it and then go on. And move on from there. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Thank, thank you, you for so your question. Yeah. Thank you much for phoning us. Thank you. Yeah. Take Goodbye. care. Sure. Bye. Okay. Bye. Thank you so much again. Now, this is all. For, this is one question for tonight. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. Okay. Um, Susanna from Henderson. That's an interesting question she has here. Peter says. Will you have the pro work on um no what is it um uh, what about uh, when everyone updates to Windows 10? Anything that um, happens to the program? So I'm gonna I'm just gonna say this um I don't plan on testing any of the software on Windows 10 probably until the fall. So if you upgrade to Windows 10, 
you're on your own. I only support it on 7, 8, or 8.1, which I know it works fine on all the platforms. Now, with that said, inherently, the technology always works on a newer operating system even before I certify it. So you should not have a problem. Okay. All right. All right. So much. Do you have any more? Or do you want to wrap well, it up? Well, there's, there's there are, there's lots of questions here. But, um, okay, Annie from Galloway, she says, I have just poured three jugs of water with three different intentions. Is that okay to do that? Sure. Yeah, you can sip from all of them there. And... No limits. Yeah, there's no limits. Okay. So Barbara from Toronto, she's saying, are there some people for whom light body too would not work? If not, and, and if not, why? Um, everybody gets something out of light body. Everybody. I have not heard from a single customer that it has not worked in some facet of their life. Um, you know, I alluded earlier to inner beauty, that is extremely potent within the software and the body flush is, is very, very potent. So light body is, is an amazing tool. Okay. And you're getting Great. that for free if you purchase today. Yeah. Yeah, yeah all three. And then Grace from San Jose. Uh, hi, Karen Selma and Peter. My question, can you put manifestation for other people, for example, manifest health for loved ones? Yes. Look at that. Yeah, I think there's a lot of questions, but maybe we have to honor Peter's time and everything. What do you think? Anybody, any last questions? We can go for another 10 minutes or so. All right. Uh, Oh, look at this one. Barbara just said, Hi, Peter. I program my art class students' water with Da Vinci (laughs) and creativity. Everyone had a stellar painting that day. Seriously, a spectacular day of beauty and creativity and fun. There you go. Awesome. I like that. Mm -hmm. So Linda from Atlanta, she's saying um, she wants to activate all strands of DNA. What's the best way to phrase this intent? Uh, And is it best to do this as a process and not activate all at once? And she refers to you respectfully as Peter the Great. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I didn't know you were Russian. Oh, God. I've, I've heard, I've heard, I've Russian heard Peter, there, Peter. I've heard Peter the Rock too. So well, Peter the Great, here you go. Um, what would you say to Linda? So I'm assuming this is for Source Four. Um, and again, you know, I, I I don't want to define anything. You know, you you think of it in your head. You live it. You, you use your five senses and your imagination, and the clearer and more real it is to you, the faster it's going to come into manifestation for you. Okay. Can the program be downloaded on an Android with an operation no. system? No? no Android. Again, the, the technology is only for Windows 7, Windows 8, or 8.1. Oh, you can okay. use it on a PC. You can use it on a Windows tablet. You can use it on a Windows netbook. Um, it's only for Windows. Okay. Well, let's take a last question from Curtis, and he's got about four or five different kind of questions. Well, let me just take one of them. Curtis from Amsterdam, he's saying, how can I have a direct contact with a divine source in me permanently? What would you, what would you say to him? I'm sorry, can you repeat that? How can I have a direct contact with a divine source in me permanently? No. Well, you know, you hear, I've done a lot of shows with Karen and Tama where we've worked with archangels, which are the first ring outside of source. And I will share with you that people that say they come into physical contact with an archangel, uh, and I mean physical contact, um, and they're, they're talking about it, um, did not have direct contact with an archangel. So if you can imagine for a second, you're lying on your bed and the doorway opens up, you know, six feet above your bed and an archangel appears in the physical. What do you think is going to happen? I'll tell you what's going to happen. Your mind's going to shut down. You'll be flushing. 
<laughs> and you 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 will not recover from it. So to answer your question, what I would do is I would use the source four to program the manifestation of combining those two energies inside of your vessel, which is your body, and drink that water and watch what happens. All right. Curtis, let us know what happens with that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Should we take that last caller there, Karen? Sure. Yes. Karen, are you going to sing us another song? I did have a question. I'm sorry. I think I put my hand down earlier. So. <laughs> okay. Left the table here. What's your, quest- what's your um, question? Is there a way, Peter, for someone else, if, if for whatever reason, if the technology is completely impossible for a person to use, is it possible for another person to use the technology on their behalf? Sure. So I'll give you an example. Um, when I develop these products, they work amazingly for me personally during the development cycles, and then they stop working 90% of the time after the fact. And what I have to do is I rely on other people to program my water for me. And now the reasons really? why that happened, I do. And the reasons why that happened are basically there is the universe has unwritten laws that govern everyone that has unique wake up experience or I'm sorry, waken up abilities. And you can never use those abilities for self gain. And the only thing that I've been able to extrapolate from building this is it works fantastic for me up until the final release. And once it's released, it just shuts down. And for some weird reason, which I'm still grasping, it's an unwritten law that I cannot use this technology for self-gain. So I have to have other people like David Shear and Jason Davis and other really good friends of mine to program the water for me. Hmm. Okay. That's very interesting. And then uh, you get yeah, the results when that, other yeah. people program it? Well, because like I, oh, I, yeah. <laughs> I knew it didn't exist for my operating system, so I was trying to think if there was a way for I could find someone to use it for me, since I'm not likely to be able to use it myself. Uh, sure. So, mm-hmm. cool. Thank, Thank you very much. You're Thanks, welcome. Karen. Thank you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. And Sophia says, uh, it, it, the offers, will it be available until Sunday? Yes, it will. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. All righty. All right. That's well, it we want to. live callers. Yeah. Well, I guess, well, we want to honor everybody's time. Um, so we want to, you know, uh, absolutely thank everybody. Um, you know, this Source 4 has been, you know, like here's been working on this for the last 10 years and, it's all about totally transforming people's lives, the easy, effortless way. Um, you don't have to do all the work. It's all about letting the technology do the heavy lifting for you and be childlike and to stop struggling. And, you know, so it, it's really a, a very – and we thank Peter for coming today and, you know, talking about this source. It's really a, a powerhouse product. Um, it's so easy to use and packs a, a really big punch. So thank you for all the information. Any last words you want to say to our audience members, Peter? Yeah, you, you know, um, we spent a lot of time building this to help all of you. And, you know, by doing these shows, um, you're getting an amazing, an amazing deal um, at the price point it's set at, you know, outside of retail. And if you have tried, read books, listened to tapes, MP3s, DVDs on manifestation, um, and they haven't worked, um <laughs> you need to use the source for it because it will work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a fantastic deal. That uh, again, the source for Light Body 2.0 and the Saint Germain workshops all for and 3.97 from the regular price and 8.91, and um, it's not going to remain for that much longer. And I just Peter. wanted to thank you know Karen and Salmar for putting together the most ass-kicking web page I've ever seen. Either in the future for these shows. I mean, that, oh my God, it's just it's beautiful, absolutely right. amazing. Well, it's showing the energy, right? We we were on a roll here. It's the energy that was coming through us, and we needed to it's amazing. Um, yeah, we needed to put that back. So, 
Well, we always say two figures. You know, there are some like... videos on that uh, sales page. Mm-hmm. Um, so mm-hmm. if you want to see, there's some videos on there if you want to see it, mm-hmm. it in action and how it works. Um, yeah. Take Both a look at that. And uh, yeah. yeah, for sure. We always appreciate your generosity of uh, spirit, Peter, and we are always forever grateful for you. Thank you for being with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Thank, yeah, thank you to you, our wonderful listeners, for taking time out of your busy schedules to join us on Unbounded Potential to go beyond, to be more, love more, live more, and to never settle for less. We appreciate each and every one of you and your commitment to knowing more and being more enlightened. We can't wait to see you back here again as the journey continues. Create create amazement, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. We truly hope you enjoyed today's presentation to assist you in going beyond. Until next time, be more, love more, live more, and never settle for less.